On the front, you will need to loosen the front fender wheel liner, red arrow, enough so that you can remove the rear liner, as indicated by the yellow arrow. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. With the liner off, you can access where the front ABS sensor is routed to the pass-through connection, red arrow, as well as access its mounting point, yellow arrow. Disconnect the sensor from the pass-through connection by pressing down on the wire, as indicated by the red arrow, and pulling the sensor out. Disconnect the cable from the holder on the brake line, yellow arrow, and where it connects to the inner fender, red arrow. Remove the cable from the holder on the spindle, red arrow, then use a 10 millimeter wrench and remove the single bolt holding the sensor in place, yellow arrow. All of the brake and suspension hardware is considered single use and comes micro-encapsulated from the factory. Make sure to replace the hardware when performing this job. With the bolt removed, pull the sensor out from the steering knuckle, red arrow. Installation of the new cable is the reverse of removal. To replace the rear sensor, you will need to remove the rear fender well liner, red arrow. Please see the link at the end of this video for further assistance. The rear sensor is similar to the front in that it runs from the wheel hub to a pass-through connection in the fender well, red arrow. Disconnect the sensor from the pass-through connection by pressing down on the wire, as indicated by the red arrow, and pulling the sensor out. Remove the cable from the plastic holder in the wheel well. Use an E12 wrench and remove the plastic mount that holds the cable and sensor in place red arrow. Again, all of the brake and suspension hardware is considered single use and comes micro-encapsulated from the factory. Make sure to replace the hardware when performing this job. With the bolt and mount removed, you can pull the sensor out from the wheel carrier. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.